What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a booster box opening of Future Card Body Fight Triple D, BFE D BT01. So basically it's the first set of um, Body Fight uh, Triple D. And I heard that every box contains one secret, uh, one body rare, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think it is pretty cool. So yeah, let's pull a body rare. So actually body rares are like drop value. But actually quite cool because I, a lot of, I mean like honestly, like the secret packs back then right, it's so hard to pull, it's, it was ridiculous uh. And you and yet they mix uh, what I guess, uh, the star, the new Star Dragon World, the Trout right? I think they, I think they realised their mistakes Yeah, and it's the game more friendly now, so you guys should try it out no, no. This game is good, passing the Baitin Bell I also got passing the Baitin Damn it, huh? you, don't, you don't have the Legion Right, you got the Legion passing the Baitin Oh, the common foil looks like this now. Oh, oh it looks like cheaper, right? It looks like this. Nice, you got the, the strike patterns. Oh look at the double, uh. and their, double. Their rare patterns also kind of change. Yeah. It's the glass, it's the gl broken glass. Uh. Yeah, so this whole season they're going to use broken glass. Eh? Really, yeah. yeah. Oh, I pulled a triple R. Damn shit! No. What's it? Uh, magic wood. But I can use because I have the magic wood. Right? No, you can. You can see now. It's like the yeah. Japanese printing. It's like Japanese printing now. You can see there's like outline. It's like SP. I thought it was SP at first, but yeah, it's actually triple R. Good now. Everything is good. Yeah. The, the, the improvement. Use, they they can't use Japanese now. Correct. Oh, they, they, they printed Midnight Shadow and in the Tatsuku art. Oh, in this set, is it? Yeah, yeah. You, oh, that's you, nice. You will get to see it eventually when you open it. Oh, yes. Star, star re Repair. Is this useful? No, you need Shit. the... I, I have no idea. I never read the card. You may cast this card if you have a card with jackknife in the name of a field. Put the top card of that into your gauge and put one card when drop zone into the soul of a new dragon. So basically, it's like... Um, I don't know. Uh, do, what's it called? Uh, the um, Jack Knight Gift. Yeah, Gift 1 sold into Jack. Uh. Yeah. It's both right. right and Jack Knight Mmm, I don't know. Mm. Here I got the first card. Oh, oh shit. Ooh, the secret pack. Secret oh, packs. so no wonder because the first pack was uh, yeah. a rare. Like, nice. Yes, so I pulled one of the Yami Gero thing. Yami oh, it's a full, full formation. Uh. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Yeah. So one box uh, contains one of these. Oh my god, I got to play a 100 card deck and lose. Actually, how's the deck now? Uh? The deck, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. You know, the like. So basically, it's a secret pack. Very nice. I kind of like the total rip of a Pokemon. Yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon had something there. Break. Yeah. No, it's not, not break. break. Uh, no, it's uh, the legend. House, legends. Yeah, legends. Legends house. That's not what I play that. Legends. Legends. Cool story, bro. Pretty cool. Get one million yummy ghettos. Oh shit, magic wool stuff. I, I swear to god, this is like a magic wool box. Um, ability Asmodai Diabolical Sparta Teachings. Call cost pay two gauge and put one of one or more magic wool monsters into this card. So, so it's an Asmodai. When this card enters the field, return all monsters that opponent's field into his or her hand and deal damage equal to the number of cards returned to your opponent. So, if opponent play a three card deck. Oh, monsters. Oh, so if opponents play the triple monster formation, take three damage. Pretty interesting. Yeah, and yes, so. Yeah, it's. Then. Impact. Impact monster. I guess it's only valuable because he has the uh, Asmoda in the name. No, nah, now the whole. The Asmoda is quite workable. But I think in Japan. Bow Dragon. Whoa, nice. MC. Buddy Ray. So, Buddy Ray looks like this. You, you got a real buddy. Looks, Wait, you mean them Jack nice. got Buddy Ray? Yeah, they. Uh, Jack, Jack, Abigail. Bao and Osmodai. You got it, you pull a buddy bear. Nice. You get a buddy bear. And a reprint fuck. <laughs> this one is something that we do not need to reprint, but whatever. No, now you can get it in foil, so you can earth barrier and proto barrier for it. Shit, that's a shiny eye. That's a, that's yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, the, that's the purpose. That's the true meaning. That's the true meaning of reprinting. So that you can get full foil deck. So now, you know, you know they re reprinted that, so yeah, they're gonna reprint the. Dancing Magician Tetsuya Huh? How come? I thought they already had Foy They want even more Yeah, no, they're reprinting So Oh, what's they, that? Uh, oh, it's a triple R they, oh. They're reprinting as an R, so This card looks amazing What's it? Uh, let's read the back I don't know what's that, but let's read 
Uh, the over X dimension. Call cost. Pay two gauge and put up to three cards from your drop zone into this card. So wow, kind of tanky. Uh, put a soul in from this card into your drop zone. If you do for this turn, this you need gets a penetrate or double attack. So if you need to push your game, you could reduce. You could like cut its life down. Very nice. Oh my god. They really look like SPs, yeah. Yeah, it's like it's a third pool SP. What's this? Scorching Cavalry Dragons, also for Sun Dragon deck. Another size 3. Pay 2 gauge and put the top 2 cards of the deck into the card soul. Put a Sun Dragon from the soul with a card into the drop zone. If you do, destroy a monster in your opponent's center. So nice. Um, Sun Dragons basically uh, focuses more on open centers. So, yeah. Yeah, that's basic Dragon World. Yeah. This basic Sun Dragons for you. Sun Dragons. Oh, this Dash Sun Dragon Jack is a rare on here. Yeah, the, uh, all, all the main stuff are rare, so they're very easy to get. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Same, same as the, the BT1 drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's rare only. So it's like, five, it's quite easy to get. Uh. It used to be a $5, $5 drum. Yeah. What the fuck did we print this? They they, they even printed Solomon Shield. Because Slow Knight can get it in foil, they can pull foil of Magic over that. That's, really that's, like, that's what they are doing now. That's really like they didn't pull any common foil. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks... A bit weird, lah, so it's quite hard to see actually. Black Revenger also got reprinted. Uh, yeah, they're reprinting a lot of the old uh, stuff. Trodex stuff. Yep. Because the, I heard the Trodex were out of print. Oh, yeah, true. So, why not? Flare Fang Dragon. What ability is. Uh, Flare Gift, when this card enters a field and you have another Sun Dragon on the field, you put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw a card. Wow. Something like um, Archer. yeah, Drago Archer for Sun Dragons. So you just so you Sun lovers can just play this instead of Archer. Black Fang, nice. Blue Dragon Shield, oh my God. Yeah, they they with the blue shield. shield. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> now here's the oh sorry, Midnight Shadow Tasuku. Oh, this is freaking awesome, man. Yeah. yeah, you gotta play. It's a common only. Wow, sweet ass. Eh. So you can get it in parallel four, and then you can. Yeah, yes. It's, it is probably gonna be the most expensive common. Eh? Scream like a girl. Yeah. M worth more than your double R's in this set. Actually, most common foils are are usually enough. Yeah. Worth more than worth more than your soul. Yeah, I, I put the same shit as you. Yes. Scorching carry dragon, second Helios. Hmm. Yeah, I explained that just now already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you skip past the common foils, but you still got half a box to go around. Yes. yes. What's that? I got it. Alternate star. Damn it. Oh, what is this? Um. Pay two gauge. Pay two gauge and put a spell from your drop zone into this monster soul. If there are two or more cards in the card soul, put all souls from the card from this card into the drop zone. If you do, deal two damage to your opponent. If you put five or more, deal six damage to your opponent. Whoa, like a weird thing. So it's like an impact monster. Impact monster. What's this? This is the OP shit. Uh? Yeah, it's the OP shit. OP shit. This is next meta, guys. Star alternative. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's just star alternate. Uh, cost cost pay on gauge counter so you can cast it on both your, your opponent's turn and your turn. Choose a monster with a soul in a new dragon in the field and ride it on top of a new dragon on by paying its call cost. So basically, what you could do is um, by using if you're using a jackknife deck, you could use uh, star dragon or jackknife and let's say your opponent attacks it, you could actually cast this and swap the soul out so your opponent miss target so you miss an attack for free. And when star dragon uh, star star dragon jackknife comes out, you can get another soul because you pay the call cost of. Well, pay on gauge and put one top card in, of your deck into the soul. Eh, sorry, put one card in the drop into the soul. Mm -hmm. So this card's freaking amazing because it can give you a, it can give you an additional attack as well. So you could use this card defensively and offensively. Freaking amazing card. Need a few more of that. So what what is the so called uh, good card of this set? I mean, like if you don't, if you can pull a guaranteed secret rare, right? Is it like SP? No, it's not. It's like it's not just uh. Because you can get it's not it's not like the old set where fifth omni uh drum or mm. Esther is in is only secret. Right? So most of the stuff you can you need is in the set itself. Right? So it's quite I mean like is there to... SP in this set? Or? I don't think so eh. Because... Oh they take away SP. Yeah. Sunblade Grand Soul. 
interesting. Uh, for no cost, it's a 9k attacker, attacking weapon. I can feel the difference because they printed this in Japan. Eh? Yeah, the cuts uh, feels different, right? They feel very thick. Yeah, good uh, for team. Gotta step up their game. Finally. Now, now guys, uh, I don't know how, uh, but because it's Japanese, so they can't put it in Octo. They need to put it in Octo. Damn it. I mean, if they put the subtitles, I think it's fine. Uh. I think people can still watch. Maybe at night central. <laughs> night central? <laughs> what? Central. Last time you know anime at night or not? Night, yes, art central, but then yeah, they, 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 they don't. They, they killed it. Shit. Bell dragon or uh, bell aura. Ball. Ball. You got ball. ball dragons. You got ball. Death damage, boy, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Best joke ever, fuck my life. I can't even see the pattern properly. See? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Damn it. Congrats. <laughs> Not something. Actually, people does use that. Like. I saw people side deck against my, my stupid ancient world. Like. They actually got use, eh. you know, in the Darkness Dragon World, you destroy, you can deal damage, something like that. Jack and Fang. Heat Dragon Jr. If your opponent doesn't have a monster center, this card gains on crit. So the two crit monster. It's cute. Yeah. Criminal foil. That's cute. Size zero. Right? It's worth something. Worth cute points. Dragoner's Beat. The art of this is getting better. Yep. Most of the stuff. Alright. They're good art now. Ball knuckle. Ball sunnace. I think no more for it. She. Stigama, when this card enters the field, your opponent seven more cards and drops on the short card he's on her view. Me. Actually, that damage got value. Hmm? That damage got value in the. Yes. In, people actually play that shit. Which one? In the Darkness Dragon World deck. You fucked up. Fuck! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's your last chip? Uh? What? You got what? I got um, this. I think uh, same pool as you, eh? except you pull as Mora, I pull some other shit. Yeah, I think I pull Magic World stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Shadow Shit. Damn. The new archetype. Yeah. I need one more star of the night, come on, you can, you can, you can do it! Okay, Ooh, come on. You can, can do it. Ooh, wow, Proto Barry Foy. Whoa, nice! So good! You can use it, one. Nah, I won't use it. Why nah, you? OCD. <laughs> yes, yeah. Must get Let you have me, let you just sell it all. Yes. Come on, stop. Stop up the... Fuck! What's this, Zack Crown? Uh, ability is when this card enters the field, put the top card of the deck into your gauge, then if you have six or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, put the top card of your deck into a gauge, so you charge two gauge. What the fuck is this? Alright, so I'm gonna go through my pools. This is the most important card yeah. you got. Correct, it's the, I think the only, <laughs> only card that I actually, want, actually wanted on me. Uh, for value, actually. It's the only value card. So, yeah. Proto Barrier Foil. This thing. Star Jack Repair. Black Scar Stigma. Heat Dragon Junior, Death Damage, actually you don't got value, people use this, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah kill, kill your Adil Diablos, yes. No, you kill, then you do damage your opponent. You yeah. don't know the Darkness Dragon World deck, man? Oh, the Nigo Balls. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know the OP deck. Uh, this is the Triple R2. I need this. Dragon. Yeah, this is the Dragon. Yami Secret Pack. Yami Secret Pack. Fuck it, I don't use an Yami. I'd rather pull something like Ball. Okay. You, can, you can have my ball. No thanks. <laughs> so I hope you guys uh, enjoy my um, uh, booster box opening of Future Card Body Fight Triple D. Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe to your channel. Peace out and love you guys. Rawr.